What is your favorite juice? Do you like your juice concentrated or not? If you're gonna ask me, I like my juice to be not too sweet. Do you know that this juice is a homogeneous mixture called a solution? Let's talk about the solution here on Science 101. The solution is a homogeneous mixture where a substance is dissolved into another substance. Coffee is an example of solution. Solute or the substance being dissolved in solvent or the dissolving medium makes up a solution. We can combine two liquids together to form a solution. If two liquids are mixed together to form a solution, it is called miscible, like alcohol and water. But if two liquids that are combined and it do not mix together it is called immiscible, like water and oil. There are certain characteristics of a solution. 1. It is uniform or the same throughout the mixture. 2. It does not settle or change over time. 3. It has small solute particles that cannot be separated by filtering. 4. The solute and solvent cannot be distinguished by naked eye. 5. It does not scatter a beam of light. Solubility is a measure of how much solute can be dissolved in a certain amount of solvent. Think of a teaspoon of salt dissolved in water. The salt dissolves easily. Solutions can be grouped according to how much solute is in a solvent. Let's try to make juices with different amounts of solutes but with the same quantity of solvent. We're going to use orange juice powder as our solute and three different glass of water as our solvent. On our first glass I'll be adding half a tablespoon of juice powder onto the water and stir. Look what happens. On our second cup, I will add another one and a half tablespoon of juice powder in our juice solution. How do you compare our second set up to the first one? On our third glass, I will add another three tablespoons of sugar in our orange juice solution. Look what happened. Is there a difference between the first set up to the second and third set up? What if we increase the temperature on the third set up? The three set up shows the types of saturation of solution. On our first set up, the juice powder easily dissolved in water. It is because our juice powder is less than the amount of water that we used. If our solution contains less than the maximum quantity of the solvent, it can dissolve at a given temperature. It is called unsaturated solution. If we add more solute to our solution just like on our second set up, and it reached the point where it cannot dissolve any more solute it is considered saturated. If the saturated solution loses some solvent, some solid crystals of solute will start to form. Examples of saturated solution are soft drinks and coffee. We can tell that the solution has reached its saturation point when water or solvent cannot hold any more solute. Some solute remains suspended in the bottom of the container. Here are some interesting facts about solution. There is a solvent called aqua regia, which may dissolve the noble metals including gold and platinum. You can't see a beam of light when shining it through a true solution. This means fog is not a solution. It is a colloid. Carbonated beverages are made by dissolving carbon dioxide gas into a liquid at high pressure.